Another very important muscle in the lower limb that sometimes can be responsible for pain that people might not necessarily um, relate it to is tibialis posterior. Its origin is on, on the lateral aspect of the, of the posterior surface of the tibia. The interosseous membrane, which is obviously quite deep, is between the fibula and the tibia, and the posterior fibula itself and the fascia covering it. Its insertion is in a number of places. It can insert into the navicular, the plantar aspect of the medial cuneiform, the tendinous expansions uh, can uh, branch out over the uh, mid tarsal joint or the, the metatarsals of the of bones in the, in the foot, except the talus, and um, the sustentaculum tali and the bases of the middle three, uh, three metatarsals. So basically it's a muscle that's running like this. The muscle is up here. The tendons are starting about here and run along with flexor digitorum underneath the medial malleolus and some kinds can be um, responsible for um, tarsal tunnel syndrome, not carpal tunnel syndrome. Its action is to basically plant affects the foot and invert the foot at the, uh, or supinate foot at the ankle. Eccentrically, it would decelerate the subtalar joint in pronation. So basically, as the foot goes over, it will control that pronation so, uh, and dynamically stabilize the talar navicular joint in the push-off phase of gait. With the tibialis uh, posteriors, it's, it's often responsible for uh, two other type kind of pathologies, that of uh, uh, tendo Achilles or Achilles tendonitis, and also for plantar fasciitis. So when you sometimes get patients that are coming in and they're responding to other types of treatment, if you're treating the um, uh, tibialis posterior as well as the gastrocnemius, that can often get rid of sort of this tendo Achilles pain or even plantar fascia pain. Patients often present with a sort of pronated foot when, uh, when they have this problem. So that's uh, tibialis posterior. I'm just going to look a little bit into the needling of it. Patient lying prone. The ankle supported on a, a towel. You can use a bolster, but if you use the bolster, the leg's going to be up here too much, so it won't be too comfortable and that easy to needle. Again, we will use a, a, a smaller, a 30 millimeter needle. The, the needling direction is a bit of a complicated muscle, this, because it's more sort of deep. So one needs to basically pull the gastrocnemius muscle. Relax your foot a second. Pull the gastrocnemius muscle sort of laterally. One can use sort of all your fingertips and use your thumb as an axis to basically pull the gastrocnemius out of the way and then palpate the, the tibialis posterior and get them to bulk the muscle by inverting the foot. So I'm going to ask you just to turn your foot inwards and relax and pull inwards and there I can feel it bulking. You'll probably at some point you're going to get the soleus muscle bulking as well because that's a, an inverter as well or controls inversion of the foot. Uh, although most people are going to think of it as being a plantar flexor. We can then needle directly in and out across the frontal pain, going in at a, an angle like this. Stay deep to the tibia. So if the tibia is running along here, we're deep to the tibia. We've pulled out gastroc out of the way, inverted the, the foot so you can feel the muscle bulking, find the trigger point and put the needle or insert the needle at this point here.